From Super Bowl hero to zero playing time, at least for this season. Hey there, I'm Lauren Shahadi here for your daily sports update for Wednesday. Presented by Toyota. Perhaps the New York Giants can get back to that 11-1 record of theirs. Because the off-the-field drama has been decided it is a done deal. A day after Plaxico Burris was charged with illegal weapons possession, the Giants fined and suspended him for the rest of the regular season. This comes after he accidentally shot himself in the right thigh over the weekend at a Manhattan nightclub. The team also placed him on the reserve non-football injury list, which means the wide receiver won't be joining the world champions in the playoffs either. So, suspensions hitting the Giants hard, but it doesn't stop their guys. Six players, including the heart of that Minnesota Vikings stout defensive line, were suspended for four games without pay by the NFL on Tuesday for violating the league's anti-doping policy. That list includes Deuce McAllister and defensive lineman Charles Grant and Will Smith of New Orleans, Kevin and Pat Williams of Minnesota, and long snapper Brian Pittman of Houston. All six were punished for using a diuretic which can serve as a masking agent for steroids. The punishment means all six will miss the end of the regular season. Well, I'm a total downer with your update today, aren't I? Well, at least I have good news if you're an Indiana fan. The Pacers worked all game on keeping their matchup with the Lakers close, and in the end, close it was. 118-117, Troy Murphy's game winner completed a very improbable comeback for Indiana. The Lakers entered with a seven-game win streak, the league's best record, and a perfect 5-0 mark on the road. That streak is no more. Also no more, at least for the next three weeks, no Tracy McGrady, and this is another shot to the already injured Houston Rockets. He played the first 15 games of the season, but he sat out the last three, saying, obviously, I came back a bit too soon. I'm not ready just yet. Saturday will mark seven months since the surgery. And McGrady said doctors told him that his knee would require six to eight months to heal. You remember, he visited Dr. Andrews on Monday, and he reassured T Mac that he won't need more surgery, just a little time. It is all about time. Purdue fans thought it was just a matter of time before the Boilermakers returned to the national stage with a huge win, but they will have to wait. Duke put them in their place, 16 better than Purdue. Duke improved to 10-0 all-time in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. It was the Blue Devils' first test against a ranked team this season, and they got it done. Getting it done was definitely a problem this year for Notre Dame head coach Charlie Weiss, and it had him on the hot seat. But Weiss will return to coach the Irish for a fifth season. And as far as the Washington head coaching position goes, a passenger on a flight from Las Vegas to Seattle yesterday afternoon informed the Seattle Times that Mike Leach was in fact on the plane. So whether Leach is meeting with Washington officials to discuss that Huskies coaching vacancy or he's enjoying a nice little vacay, we will keep you informed right here on the site. On the ice, the San Jose Sharks haven't lost since November 11th last night. No exception. They dropped the Maple Leafs like it was hot 5-2 on Tuesday night for their eighth consecutive victory. They are now off to the best 25-game start in NHL history. Joe Thornton said post-game, really, the game was over after the first 10 minutes. We're a pretty confident bunch in here. It's no big deal. Just like that, no big deal. Something that was a big deal, though, were the words Sean Avery had for a flame star, Dion Phaneuf. Avery was punished indefinitely for using a crude term about his former girlfriends now dating other hockey players. The punishment? He kept Avery out of the Dallas Stars game against the Calgary Flames on Tuesday night. Now you are up to date on your sports headlines. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Let's talk tomorrow.